I love Andre. I, I, I think he's a love-driven character, which, which I love. Uh, I always start working from a place of love and then try to see how the wounds and uh, the education and the scars are, are making this love disformed and twisted and how it brings the characters, the, the characters to life. But it's, it's generally just a really um, lovable person. He just loves what he does. He does it with a um, with drive and um, and the fact that he's just um, so so um, you know shy about his love for Natasha. I, I just I can relate to that. It's this shy you know teenage. I don't want to bother kind of love. The story of the film is a fish out of water story um, about how someone from another perspective can bring the tools uh, to, to, to a new reality. All the people at Dior are, you know, in their reality and they're, they're, they're working on, on, on things that they've been working on for years and they don't see the outside aspect of things anymore and the fact that Ada is just coming to give them a fresh perspective and uh, just uh, tear down their judgments about social statuses and everything is um, that's that's what the movie is about I think uh, cultural nuances and love and passion and it's all in there Andre's best quality is also his worst quality is it's, it's that he's, he's very very discreet and subtle and shy which is in line of in his line of work uh, it, it can be good because he's you know he's doing his job, he's not bothering anyone, and at the same time, uh, nobody notices him, especially the person he loves. So um, he doesn't have the strength to come up to her and, and show that he actually exists. And uh, so that, that is his quality and, it, and his default. I started uh, reading a lot, um, biographies about Dior in the 50s, uh, autobiographies from Christian himself, um, models from the 50s, um, and just, you know, the politic uh, in the country back then, looking at pictures of styles and ideas and, you know, everything that was going on back then to just get a glimpse of, of the atmosphere. Um, and then I just started to get into get into Andre, what does he, what does he like, what does he eat, what, what does he read. Working with Tony is, is just a blast. He's, he's such a sweet person, he's, he's just so uh, patient and he, listen, he listens, he's, um, he's, he's, he's so driven by the story. He's in love with his characters and with the story and uh, it's, it's just so good to have someone who's just, you know, uh, driving this, this huge production in, with, with, with love. He's just in love with everything. The, the way he reacts to seeing the funny scenes, just, just you know, cracking up uh, in the, behind the screen. And, and just when he comes to us to give us directions, it's, it's just, he's, he's here. It's just considerate and we feel uh, safe. We feel safe to try things and to, to bring our characters to life. He's a very passionate director. Working with, with Jenny Biven is, um, how can I describe this? It's 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 crazy. She's uh, she's so colorful. She's uh, so funny, so alive, and she's uh, also she's an encyclopedia of fashion. She knows she knows everything about everything, and so just you know, with the COVID situation and everything, we weren't really able to. Um, try before I got to Budapest. So once in Budapest, we, we had a selection and we worked together and she's, you know, this tie, this thing, this, and she knows so much about what happened in the 50s that she was basically giving me heads up and stories and, and things that were happening back then that would influence the style <clears throat> in terms of character. What color would he wear? Because um, he's shy and nerdy, what, what this and that. And it's, it's, um, it's very rich and there's a lot of uh, tools to work with. So, um, so then when the costume is ready, you just feel very confident in, in, in your character's skin, which is very important. Working with this uh, amazing ensemble of talents uh, is, has been uh, uh, one of the best experiences of my life. It's, it's amazing to come to set to such inspiring um, icons. And, and, you know, it's hard to dissociate the fact that 
you saw them everywhere and you've been inspired and by their performances in different projects and so um, the way they welcomed me on set, uh, they're, they're, it's so human and, and easy and um, they make it effortless to just make it bring that family atmosphere and, and I think we love each other very much and it's the best way to work. I hope it allows people to just, you know, escape, reconnect with love, melancholy, fashion, um, history. And, and just the magical world that Christian, that Christian Draw started um, so many years ago. And it's, it's pretty amazing that his history and passion and drive is uh, still giving us the ability to make people dream and travel and escape. So I really hope uh, if the world uh, is better, then I really hope it will be a great opportunity to you know, dream a little. People should see this movie on the big screen because it's the only place where you actually can feel the performance and the emotions and, and really get into details. And, you know, love is in the details. And um, it, it's, it's just so great to be in a cinema just with your popcorn and just having an audience to react to whatever you're seeing. And since it's a, also a comedy, um, you need that drive, you need to be enjoying this. It's a, it's a community movie.